Hey there, Aaron Sanders, this Agile guy here. It really started as a search. I was already carrying around a document camera with me. Let me show you what that looks like. My laptop document camera, a USB-C projector or a monitor to go from in-person training. And suddenly I found myself having to deliver workshops and classes online. Laptop, a monitor, thing. Hub document camera hardwired into a switch laptop stay away from Wi-Fi. At first, it looked a little bit like this. Hey everybody, thanks for joining. Started to research what was important for that. Good lighting and a good microphone. I also wasn't really happy with the built-in web camera. I decided to get a GoPro and use it in other ways. GoPro, microphone, couple of newer lights. And as the new equipment started to arrive, it needed to be on the ethernet. I really needed to upgrade some things. That dish on the other side of the wall into here. Power over ethernet into the deck out, and that's the main router into ethernet switch back out and into the wall, the other two levels underneath us. Ethernet for a level two, which goes into this, comes out for the TV, provides Wi-Fi. And then finally here on level one, we have the ethernet coming out to Deco. And that goes to switch, TV, Sonos hub, one cord to ethernet switch, eGPU, driving this 4K monitor, ATEM switcher, it and the laptop need to be on the same network. So a lot to run through there. So let's look at it again underneath the document camera. Radio broadcast from the hill, coming in to the dish here, receiving the signal, Ethernet cable across that roof line, loft on top where we have the switch back down to both the second, the bottom level. Looking in here at this square, we have the cap 5 e coming in from the signal, power over internet, the deco hub switch, which then goes back to the other two levels. Level two, internet is coming out of the wall and going into a little deco hub with hard wire out to the television set. Level one, pretty exciting. Out of the wall, yet another deco. It goes to a switch and from that switch, it goes to both the television and the Sonos hub and then goes around to another switch as it's trying to miss, having to have several wires going back and forth over this door threshold where it goes to the EGP and the ATEM Mini video switcher and encoder. From the eGPU, USB-C to the laptop goes again via HDMI to drive the monitor. Mini connected to the laptop via USB-C. The ATEM switcher has four HDMI ports on the back of it as camera inputs. There's the document camera that I am currently drawing under. A Canon camera as the main. It's actually the second camera. The reason the document camera is on the first HDMI port, camera one can go direct out to a monitor, which is important because HDMI always has a delay in it. And when I'm under the document camera, I actually switch over to direct one output only so that I can draw underneath without any delay. The third camera is the GoPro. That's the behind the scenes camera. And then finally I've set up the iPad. That way I can show decks and websites and whatever else via sidecar. It's actually a piece of hardware missing a video monitor. GoPro 8 is sitting on top of that monitor with the GorillaPod. There are some apps running on the laptop that I find useful, the ATEM software controller. The companion app allows the ATEM software control layer or the ATEM itself to talk to the Stream Deck hardware via USB-C to the laptop and monitor. Stream Deck has all the buttons on it, which I can one button push. It controls this ATEM hardware via the software control as really working through companion with companion running on the laptop it's connected this stream deck through ATEM software control, which is then controlling the ATEM itself. And that's really all there is to it.